done. How, how does this uh, bill, or this proposition on the ballot, how does that uh, impact with pe what Peter Kinder is doing? Well, Isn't well, he suing? He, Peter is suing, and he's suing, uh, you know, that you know, this is unconstitutional what the federal government h has done. Well, we're, and he's trying to set up a, a, a constitutional challenge mm -hmm. of the fact that, okay, can, number one, can the federal government come in and, and make you do this? You know, you can challenge it on the Commerce Clause. This will be the first time that by not engaging in commerce or not buying a product, you are violating the Commerce Clause. There's, a, there's an argument. It sets up, you know, you know, is this a state versus a federal issue? Is this, you know, which is stronger? And so by putting it on the ballot and allowing the people, where we, one of them to say this is a referendum by the people, because, uh, you know, the people, you can vote to change the Constitution, you can vote to change the state, state law, what have you, but the people voting on it is very, very, very key. So it actually will have a stronger, stronger uh, legal precedent than maybe what Peter is doing. But I think what Peter is doing is great. Uh, if you're trying to say to someone that we're taking away your right to choose uh, your own health care, uh, that's probably the strongest argument. Cynthia, you say that even if the people vote in favor of this, uh, the Democrats, when they get back in power, uh, can just repeal it without going to the people again? That's all that state laws do. Mm -hmm. They can be changed all the time. Without going to the voters? Right. This, the legislature rarely puts anything on the ballot asking people, should we change state law? Mm -hmm. That's what they elected us for. That's the difference between a Republican, a Republican and a democracy. In a democracy, you ask people, should we do a, everything? Mm -hmm. And in a republic, you put people in charge who you can trust. And you say, I'm going to trust that my representative or my senator will do the right thing. So we're all, the old Republican, a Republican democracy thing. I'm a little confused on that, and I'll let both of you answer to this. Isn't that what the Democrats in Washington are doing right now? I mean, they're talking about they want, they know better, they know better than the people. So they're passing a health care bill that the people didn't want. They're going to try to pass cap and trade, which the people don't want. I mean, they, th they know better, so aren't they a republic by doing that? I blame the people for putting them in office. Now, that's the big difference is in Washington, D.C., the Democrats are in charge. They are in the majority, and we should not be surprised when Democrats behave like how Democrats say they're going to behave. They're in favor of bigger government. They're in favor of bigger budgets. Now, the biggest disappointment is when you take Missouri, where we supposedly have Republicans in charge, and they're bloating the budget and growing government bigger, therein lies the red flag. We don't have to let the Democrats be running the Senate over there. Okay. Well, we're going to take a little break. We come back. Let Scott address that. We'll be right back.